Hey folks, welcome back to the channel and to another video. In this video, I'm going to set up internet access scheduling for a couple of devices on our home network. Now, we're using a Virgin Media Super Hub 3 and that allows this functionality. Um, on the Super Hub 3, we go to the web address 192.168.0.1 now this can be done on any device that's on the network. You can do it on an iPad, you can do it on a laptop, you can do it on a desktop. You could maybe do it on your phone, but you might need a little bit more screen real estate to do it effectively. And you'll see why in a moment. Now when you get asked for this password, it's not the password that you use to connect your devices to the router. So not your um, WPS or uh, WPA or, or whatever password it is. Um, this is going to be the, the password for the internet settings. Now in my case, it's printed on the router and I haven't changed it from the one that's on the router. Um, someone in your household may have changed that, but give the password that's on the router a try first of all and see if you can log in. And if you can't log in with that password, you can speak to someone in the household or you can reset the router using the button on the back. So we get logged in to the configuration screen of the router here and click on advanced settings followed by security followed by Mac filtering and the way we're blocking the internet access is we're applying a filter to certain devices by their MAC address. So the MAC address is a unique identifier for each network device. Um, so every device that connects to your router will have a unique ID on it and that's called a MAC address. Um, now, when you apply this filter, it's the MAC address that you have to know. You can see on this table here that we can see the device name and you can see that there are some unknown devices there. Depending on the device that you're applying a filter to, you may or may not see that filter there. Um, but in this situation, we're, we're going to apply uh, filtering to a couple of devices. Now, I'm going to do this on my daughter's iPad, which is Haley's iPad. You may hear her shouting as we do this because initially it blocks internet access to the device altogether. So I'm going to select Haley's iPad. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the page and you can see it's now showing Add Filter Rule. So I click on Add Rule. Now, at this very moment in time, you can now see Haley's iPad is showing under the Mac filter list and it's showing as enabled. And then when we want to active, it's always on. So at this very moment in time, Haley's iPad no longer has an active internet connection. That's not what we want to do here. Um, what we want to do is apply filtering at certain times of the day. Um, now, first of all, if we want to remove this, we can click on the delete button followed by apply changes and then the filtering will be removed from this particular device. So we've got a couple of options here. Um, we'll click on, I only want to restrict internet access app. There's two options, the same time every day and different times and different days of the week. So for the same time every day, it's fairly straightforward. We click on the, the chart here and we can select the hours we want the internet connection to stop. It's a little bit buggy, this uh, the interface where you click is a bit buggy, but let, let's say we want to do this here, and you can add another one down here as well. So I'll apply those changes just now. Now you can see the clock there, it's 20 past 5 here uh, in the UK at the moment, and the schedule that I've just enabled restricts internet access between 8 p.m and 8 a.m. the following morning. Uh, so the internet connection will be active and it's automatically going to um, be disabled between 8 and 8. Now, the device itself will still show as connected to the Wi-Fi. It just won't have any throughput on the connection. Pages won't load, stuff like that. Um, now, realistically, this isn't what we want to do. We want to do it at different times of the week. So I'm going to clear all on this one and we're going to select different times and different days of the week. Now this one's a little bit easier to understand. Um, we simply click on the day, the hour we want to block access. So if I go to this one here, 
And if I ever just apply that change, it will block internet access between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. on a Tuesday morning. Now we can click and drag and select multiple um, days here. Uh, so I'll just do that just now. Um, so every day we don't want the internet coming on a device until 9 a.m. It's going to be 8 a.m. So 8 a.m. each day the internet will come available. And on weeknights, so Monday through to Friday, we want the internet to cut off at um, 9 p.m. So we'll just pick the first five days here. So on a Monday, the internet will come available at 8 a.m. And at 9 p.m. it will disconnect. In the weekends, we give Hale an extra hour. So we'll select these two here and apply those changes. So those changes are now applied. So every day between 8 a.m. and 9 p.m. the internet connection will be um, active, except on the weekends it's going to be active until 10 p.m. Let's take the situation if we had uh, multiple devices, let's say we had the young kids and the old kids and we wanted for different schedules for different devices. Unfortunately, that's not possible on this, uh, this particular router. So let's go back up and we'll add another device here. So we'll pick Lynn's iPad and we'll scroll down and we'll click Add Rule. So the Mac filter list is now applying to Haley's iPad and Lynn's iPad. It's enabled for both of them and it's going to filter the connection for the same time for both. We can't have a unique schedule for each device. It has to apply to both of them. If the situation was that we wanted to temporarily disable one of these, so let's say we wanted Haley's iPad to not abide to this schedule, we could uncheck the enabled box, press apply, and that connection or that device will have internet access all the time. I hope this has been helpful for you. Um, please let me know in the comments section below if you have any questions. Also check out my blog where I'll do a written guide as to how to do this. Thanks for watching.